Now, if you may be wondering, no, this is not a clickbait. In fact, I know all about starting small and starting from really zero because when I first was introduced to, you know, the online world and Amazon FBA in particularly, I had just lost my restaurant and I was $150,000 in debt. So I really had to scrap my way around to really get this business going. So if you are wanting to start selling on Amazon or an online business on Amazon with a very small budget, then you are definitely in the right place. For the best Amazon FBA tips and tricks and advice, be sure to subscribe to this channel as I drop brand new content every single week. Now, one of our newest students was able to scale his very first brand new product all the way to about $2,000 per day on his fifth day selling on Amazon just a couple of weeks after working with my team. So if you'd like to be involved or like to know how, you could also do the same. Be sure to stay tuned until the end of this video for a very special announcement. Now, as I mentioned earlier, when I first started selling on Amazon, I had simply, I mean, number one, I had no clue anything about the online world, right? I had just came out of, you know, the retail and I had owned restaurants and I always worked in restaurants. So that was really one of the only industries that I knew, but most importantly, I knew nothing about like mark online marketing and how everything worked, right? And to me, having a business and really any type of transition or transaction, I mean, it happened where physically people interacted with each other. To me, the whole thing where you can, you know, people can buy online, like I was the type of person that I liked to go to the store and touch things, especially when it came to clothing, you know, I had to put it on. You know, I couldn't like do anything online. It just didn't make sense to me, right? So it was, everything was new and let alone that I had no money. In fact, I was in debt. So I knew that I wanted to do something different because I knew that there was a better way and an easier way for doing things out there. And to me, selling on Amazon just was the thing simply because I was introduced to it first, number one, and number two, Amazon being the, the you know, the, the largest, um, online platform, there is 53% plus of all online sales happen on Amazon. I knew that I had to be part of it, right? You know, let alone Jeff Bezos, the richest man in the world, uh, you know, Amazon, the first trillion dollar company. So it was just, you know, all these things happened to, to be laid out in front of me. It's like they were drawing me towards Amazon. So, you know, I started watching YouTube videos just like this, like how you probably are as well. And I came to the understanding that in order for me to start this business, I need at least two, three, four, five thousand dollars $5,000, right? Which is about how much it takes to really launch a successful product on Amazon, at least the product that can make you a decent amount of money. If you are someone who's working a nine to five, making two, three thousand $3,000 a month, and you want to replace your job with a, an Amazon business, it will probably require about that much. Now, if you maybe have credit cards or you can maybe scrap your way around and sell a few things, great. I have other videos that will teach you about how to launch you know, a successful product. But if you're just starting out, maybe you're a student, maybe you're a, you know, you're a nine to five or maybe, whatever the case may be, maybe you just wanna add supplement income and you just don't want to really invest that much money just yet. And maybe because you just don't have it, you know, then this video is definitely for you. So I was exactly in the same place as well. So what I had to do is, I had to figure out a way for me to start building up capital to where later then I can launch products, you know, private label products and, and be able to spend two, three, four, five thousand dollars $5,000 on a product. So what I actually started doing is I was introduced to a concept called arbitrage and drop shipping. Now you may have seen other videos on YouTube or in my channel and that explain what arbitrage and drop shipping are. If you haven't, let me take a couple of minutes to explain to you what they are. Now, before I go into explaining what arbitrage is, I want to put out our announcement for last week's giveaway winner, and that is Don. Don, congratulations. Uh, be sure to reach out to us. If you would like to uh, enter to win our weekly giveaway, drop in the comment sections, BJKU. Arbitrage, the, the word arbitrage is simply where you take things from one marketplace, sell them in another marketplace for a um, you know, for a, a, a profit. If I know anything about Forex, I think that's kind of what Forex is. What Forex trading is, is where you're trading currencies, I think, right? But don't hold me to that. So what I'm trying to say here is, you know, what I started doing is I would start going to retail stores, right? And start finding products that sold well on those stores, like uh, Walmart and Target, TJ Maxx, Home Goods, if there is any of that and where, you know, where you live. And then I started finding products from those places and then selling them on Amazon. Now, luckily, it was right around Christmas when I first got started and I found this doll. I forgot what it was called, but I found this doll where I was buying it for anywhere between 15 to about $20. And I was selling it on Amazon for about 35 to $42. Now, 
yeah, that's a great margin, but not all of it is profit because there's shipping and there's also, uh, you know, Amazon fees and everything. But I was making a decent amount of money, right? I was profiting about $12 to $15. And to me, that was mind boggling simply because up until then, in order for me to have gone through and made a sale in my restaurants, I had to shop the food, I had to cook the food, prep it, serve it to the customer, clean after the customer in order for me to generate a sale. Literally, a sandwich that sold for, for let's say, $6, $8 and a bottle of beer for like a $10 ticket, it probably involved three to five people. Me, the cook, the, the server, possibly a, a bartender, maybe a busboy cleaning after the person, right? And we had to spend that time like that person. I mean, how long does it take you to eat a sandwich? I mean, from the time you get in until the time you get out, at least 30, 45 minutes, even if you're there for lunch, right? So it took that long, it was a prolonged sales process and we had to really squish it down and that's what Amazon FBA allowed me to do and not just that but it's mobile i didn't have to physically be there right my restaurant had to physically be there someone had to physically serve the customer where selling on amazon isn't like that right you don't have to physically be there uh my restaurant was only open from 10 a.m to 10 p.m amazon if you can shop you can go shopping right now you can shop at 12 a.m or at 5 in the afternoon it really doesn't matter right so that was the beautiful thing that i loved about the concept so I started doing arbitrage, right? And then there's a specific criteria that I followed when it, when it was about products. Number one, uh, you know, making sure that these products have a BSR of 75,000 or below. Number two, making sure that there's at least a 10 profit, you know, $10 profit margin after Amazon fees. And number three, making sure that not more than 10, um, 10 sellers are on the same listing because you are selling branded items, right? So those were three of the main things that I was following in order for me to do arbitrage. So the issue with that is it was still location dependent, right? I still had to physically go somewhere to buy the stuff, right? So I knew that there was a better way and that's when I was introduced to online arbitrage. So that was retail arbitrage and then I was introduced to online arbitrage. And online arbitrage is simply where you do the same thing but online, right? You go to target.com um, walmart.com and you find products there you buy them and then you ship them you sell them on amazon so the same deal same thing bsr 75,000 or below making sure that more than 10 sellers are on the same listing and you're not creating any brand new listings or anything and then number three making sure there's at least ten dollar profit after amazon fees because you know you have shipping and all that other costs right so that was another way now the third way for me was drop shipping the great thing about drop shipping is the fact that you can actually um, list the product, sell a product, and then simply make the purchase. So you don't have a whole bunch of money tied up in inventory right up front, right? And that really helped me out to scale my inventory simply because I didn't have a whole bunch of money. Although I made decent amount of money as I was going um, across with arbitrage, but I still didn't have a whole bunch of money to invest in products. So what I was able to do is go to online arbitrage which was you know number one it, it you know it eliminated the fact that i had to physically go to the store number two um i didn't have to put as much money up front uh, as needed to really have you know a uh, decent amount of inventory i would just simply list it on amazon and then whenever a product was purchased then i would um go to the supplier buy it or the the main place buy it and then ship it directly to the customer so those were the couple different methods that i personally utilized when i first started to build up my inventory to then you know invest in private label now you may ask well the short but this sounds pretty cool you know especially the drop shipping thing why even do private label why not i mean because you don't have a whole bunch of money tied up in inventory that's correct but the problem is number one drop shipping especially from walmart to amazon is against the os Number two, it's not a scalable concept because you're selling someone else's product, right? It's like affiliate marketing. You're not controlling the product itself. It's not your product, you don't own it. What if the distributor, what if the main person, the supplier stops producing that product or, or they stop selling it to you, then what do you do, right? Let's say you have 10 products and you're making, let's call it $20,000 a month. One product really makes up for, let's say 50 or 60 or 70% of that, you know, that, those sales, and that's very possible, you know, and then they stop, then what? Then all of a sudden your income just, you know, you know, drastically is chopped in half or in three quarters, right? And then what do you do, right? And you have to be constantly out there looking for products. The beautiful thing about private label, it's, it's your own product. You own the product, you can build a brand around it, you can build an asset, you can then sell it, you can leverage it to get loans, you could do a lot of things you know and that's the beautiful thing about it besides I love it because I can leverage my you know creative mind to start you know to try to kind of differentiate the products and add my you know my kind of touch to it it's not um, 
you're not inventing the product per se, but you're adding your own twist and you can be creative when it comes to building the product. So then I was introduced to private label and that's when I started with small things, right? Selling products that sold between 10 to $15. My, you know, cost should be below 25%. So if I were gonna sell a product for $10, land it to the US, right? Land it to Amazon's warehouse, it shouldn't cost me more than uh, $2.50, maybe $3. And then after, and all, everything is said and done, I should be you know, left with about 25 to 30%. So if I'm selling a $10 product, I should be left with about $2 to $3 in net profits. Now, yes, that sounds little, but if you're selling 10 units uh, a day, that's you know $600 a month. If you're selling 20 units a day, that's $1,200 a month in net profits. And then you simply take that money and then reinvest it back in the business. But you gotta understand, you didn't start with a whole bunch of money to, to start with, right? Now, if you had $10,000 or $5,000 to start, then your net profits would definitely be a lot larger, right? But if you're scrapping your way around it and you're doing private, you know, arbitrage and you're doing drop shipping to you know, accumulate some, some, uh, some capital, then really $500 a month or $1,000 a month, that's great money. And then you can just keep reinvesting your money back in the business and then build your, your, you know, build your inventory line. And that's exactly how it got me to six figures, then seven figures, then multiple seven figures, right? And that's how I got where I am. You guys, I truly hope that you guys found value in this video and that you found the answers to some of the questions that you have been, you know, uh, um, researching. If you did, please give this bit, this channel a, uh, uh, a sub and then also give this video a, a thumbs up and uh, comment in the comment section. Let me know what things you'd like to see uh, from me in this channel. Now, another thing that I also wanted to put out there is that just a couple of weeks ago, I put together a three module course. This course is, is nothing what you've seen out there. It sells for literally a fraction of what I, I sell my other things for. Um, it's literally designed for those of you that are starting out with a very small budget. You don't have hundreds of thousands of dollars to invest in courses, but you want to get started somewhere. You want a streamlined process, and this is exactly for you, okay? So it's a three module course. First module talks about the basics of Amazon FBA. The second module talks about the kind of, uh, goes behind the mentality of the consumer. What are they thinking? How to differentiate your product? How to drive traffic from your competitors to your product? And then number three, most importantly, I give you everything I have about product research. How to find, I literally take content from my main programs that sell for thousands of dollars and I put it in here. It's a three module course. It's probably about four or five hours worth of content. If you want to check it out, there's a link in the comment section. It's gonna be the first link. Click on it, check it out. There's about a four or five minute video. Watch it, check out the content, buy it. I'm only gonna have it open for a couple of weeks and we're only gonna have a limited amount of spots, so definitely check it out. But aside from that, guys, Bashar K2 here. Thank you very much for tuning in. I will see you guys in the next video. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up, share it with a friend, and also drop a comment. Have yourselves a great day, and take care.